Coronaviruses are a family of respiratory viruses that can cause a respiratory illness that ranges from the common cold right up to a very severe influenza-like illness. It's not very well understood how humans contract coronaviruses. Certainly in this last outbreak, we suspect that it had something to do with the Wuhan seafood market, but the actual discrete events that led the virus from going into animals into humans is not very well understood at this time. In most instances, coronaviruses will cause a mild illness such as a common cold. Obviously, in situations like we're experiencing now, it can cause more severe illness. However, the risk to Canadians and uh, residents of Peel Region remain very, very low. It's very important to try to protect yourselves by frequent hand washing, avoiding contact with people who may be sick with respiratory illnesses, and practicing proper sneeze and cough etiquette. With respect to the uh, safety of day-to-day -day activities such as going to school or using uh, public transit or going grocery shopping or going to the mall, it is absolutely safe to do all of those things. People should note that uh, as long as they practice good hand hygiene and avoid uh, contact with patients that are sick, it's absolutely uh, permissible and safe to carry on with your regular routine activities. In situations uh, such as this, we do take extra precautions to ensure that we have the sufficient capacity to deal with any patient who may either be sick with novel coronavirus or uh, uh, being investigated for novel coronaviruses. We have specialized negative pressure rooms, isolation rooms, personal protective equipment, and good training for all of our uh, emergency room physicians and staff um, such that uh, the extra stress that this places on our system uh, doesn't interfere with the regular day-to-day -day operations of the hospital. We would absolutely inform the public in keeping with our um, ethical and legal obligations to report this disease. It is important for the community to remember to seek credible sources of information such as our hospital website, uh, public health agency websites and government websites in order to make sure that they're obtaining the most accurate information.